Hey everybody, we've been talking a lot about uh, the mitochondria, energy production, that 12 cylinder Ferrari engine that we uh, have in all of our cells that produce all the energy that help us uh, be alive and uh, do the things we like to do. Um, I want to play a short video, it's about three minutes long, please watch it. This is uh, from a uh, person, his name's Dr. Doug Wallace. He is a medical doctor, a PhD researcher, geneticist at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. He heads up mitochondrial medicine. He's speaking to uh, a bunch of UCLA uh, students and uh, faculty at the medical school at UCLA. And it's, uh, you know, here's the smartest person on the planet about mitochondria. Uh, I just want you to listen to what he has to say and then we'll. Uh, I've made a couple of short videos uh, to follow up and we'll uh, talk about them. Okay, so check it out. So anyway, all of this then results in how the cell generates energy and how we use energy. So why would energy be so important? Well, Newton said about um, half a millennia ago that mass is inanimate. So the only way to have mass move is for it to be acted on by energy. Now, you are the most animate thing in my environment. And therefore, what must be driving your animation is the flow of energy. So in fact, the flow of energy is the most important aspect of being alive. So for those of you that haven't finished medical school, one of the things you might be asked to do is to dissect a cadaver. Okay, so that's all fine and good. You'll memorize all kinds of fine detail about different aspects of the cadaver's anatomy. But I uh, posit to you, if your patient leaves your office in the same state as the cadaver, you've made a big mistake. And it isn't that the anatomy is bad. What's the problem is that the patient is dead. So that the question is, what's the difference between a being alive and dead? And the real question is, why don't we teach this in medical school? Okay? Because, in fact, we think we don't know, but actually we do. And that's what this talk is about. It's a talk about... What's the difference between being alive and dead and why in the clinic you need to understand this and how we understand the genetics and the biochemistry of this process. So how does energy flow then in biology, in the biology of relevance to you? Well, all of the energy that you use originally came from sunlight. And so the sunlight is streaming down on the planet, on the surface of the planet, and trees and grass and flowers and corn and so on, are collecting the sunlight in small symbiotic bacteria called chloroplasts. And these chloroplasts make the plant green. And they are, in fact, a kind of bacteria called a cyanobacteria. The cyanobacteria collects the sunlight photon and uses it to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. It then takes the hydrogen and puts it on the carbon of carbon dioxide to make sugar. A plant is a polymer of sugar. And the reason we grow corn, wheat, and so on is because they store this sugar as starch. And then we convert the starch into muffins, and we eat the muffins and chocolate chip cookies, and we then collect the sunlight. Okay? So, in fact, then, the sunlight in the form of glucose goes into our uh, stomach, into our bloodstream, goes into our cells, and there the cells strip the hydrogens off the hydrocarbons and react it with the oxygen that you're breathing to generate the water back. And the water then, uh, the energy that's released is used to generate heat to maintain your body at 37 degrees centigrade and ATP to help you do work. So in fact, all of your energy flow comes through sunlight. And everything about your energetics is based on your connection with sunlight, okay? So there you have it, straight from Dr. Wallace's mouth that the uh, every ounce of energy that our bodies make come directly from the sun either through the food that we eat that then gets harvested as we digest it and those actual photons that were originally made from the sun uh, get put into the mitochondria and or we get out in the sun and we expose our solar panels to the sun and we absorb those photons those same photons directly into our skin gets carried down by the hemoglobin into the mitochondria, that photon also gets converted to a, uh, 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 an electron, the same as from food, and that gets converted to energy. So there you have it. That's all 12 cylinders, all come from the same source, 
originally, okay? So now when it comes to food and you're eating, you know, we talk about carbohydrates, proteins, fats, what's better, low carb, high carb, um, high fat, uh, so high protein, you know, any of these uh, plans uh, all end up converting into the same photon of energy. Now, there's a, there's a reason why we have trouble losing weight and there's a reason why um, people lose weight easier and that's a talk for another another day because it has more to do with your mitochondria itself and some of the things that we do to it that, um, that, that don't allow it to burn fat. It's the mitochondria that dictates the burning of fat. As far as food is concerned, you know, my best advice right now uh, we can talk about the, the different ratios of fats to carbs to proteins and all that stuff at a different time. But here's, here's the deal. If you are not eating whole food, especially organic food, then those are the foods that you're getting the direct photons of energy put into your body when that food is broken down. So again, if you're eating processed foods, you know, foods you buy in the supermarket that are packaged, canned, um, you look at the ingredients. There's a whole bunch of chemicals, there's a whole bunch of preservatives, not to mention if it's not organic, there's a whole bunch of herbicides, especially glyphosate. We've talked about glyphosate, I, I believe, and glyphosate is the, the, the herbicide found in Roundup that ends up in all of our bodies and there's devastating consequences to our gut, uh, to our cells, to our mitochondria when we're consuming all those products. So if you're eating the processed stuff and, 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 and the whole food that was processed is, is now broken down, now you're, you're, you're not going to um, absorb the same photons because all that food has been altered. Uh, also you're going to get chemicals, uh, preservatives, herbicides put into your into your cells and into your body and that's going to also create problems that are going to affect your mitochondria in a negative way. So that's the difference between a whole food and uh, especially an organic whole food because you eliminate the herbicides and the processed foods. So you know fast foods, uh, can we get away with some of this stuff? I mean it's, it's sure we can do a little bit of it here and there but our basic staple should be whole foods and will maximize those four cylinders. And then obviously we talked about getting outside and getting out and getting those photons from the other eight. So that's our energy basis. That's gonna allow us to talk about exercise. It's gonna allow us to talk about other things once we have the energy to do that. Because if you're starting to do some of this stuff and you feel tired and, and, and you're not gonna be motivated and you're gonna give up on it. So we gotta get the energy, uh, uh, status right. You know those little mitochondria if you take the energy potential of each one of them believe it or not one-third of your body weight is mitochondria. So take your weight multiply, uh, divide it by a third and one th that one-third of your weight is, is, is how much your mitochondria weigh. If you take the energy potential of each of those mitochondria and you multiply it by the number of mitochondria in your body do you, do you know what that is? That's the equivalent of one bolt of lightning that you have the potential to make in your body. So, you know, you can't complain about not having the energy. Here's the, the um, answers to start generating the energy. And then we can really do the things we want to do. So, um, we'll, we'll talk more about that. I just want to make sure you guys are all straight on the energy status. And uh, any questions, concerns, comments, let me know and we'll talk about it and we'll go from there. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.